President Lai Yun Zhongyuan will be using a single five-year term to reshape the future of Asia's fourth largest economy with his key pledge of having more private sector-led economic growth. The nation is expected to see a major shift. Am Ji Young tells us more. President-elect Yoon Seok-yeol has promised to create private sector-led growth, and it is seen to be more market-friendly than outgoing President Moon Jae-in. Yoon's goal is to double South Korea's potential economic growth rate to 4 percent from what is now around 2 percent and create a sustainable welfare system. Also, major changes are expected in the property market. The main people appointed to the presidential transition team's top economy subcommittee have been very critical of the real estate policies of the outgoing Moon administration as they are not market friendly. The members are Kim So Young, an economics professor at Seoul National University, and Shin Sung Hwan, a finance professor at Hongik University. Kim said in his dissertation that restrictions on mortgage loans can hinder economic growth. The subcommittee members are to come up with specific measures that will support Yoon's real estate promises, including easing regulations on mortgage loans. Despite Yoon's pledges, some say the real estate market is not likely to see much change until specific policies are announced. Currently, even after the election, there is not much change in the market. But many are feeling a sense of expectation that the reconstruction will speed up and many are closely watching the tax reform. But because there is no specific announcement yet, people are taking a wait-and-see attitude. The market will be revitalized once policies are announced. However, experts say although President-elect Yoon's market-friendly approach would be more beneficial for the country's economic growth, it would require major reforms. President-elect Yoon has stated that he would uh, prefer to have more private sector-led economy. Uh, he will need to change a lot of the uh, legal and regulatory restrictions that are in place currently, not, uh, in the, not only in the uh, housing, indus housing industry, but also uh, places like high-tech industry. But the problem is, in order to do that, uh, they, he will need the assistance of the opposition party, which has the majority in National Assembly. Om Ji-yong, Arirang News.